Hey guys, Eric Valland here. I'm a lifestyle portrait photographer based out of New York City. What we're gonna do today is bring you a very low key, film noir, high contrast photo. So these are the ones that you might have seen in old Hollywood with all the contrast, but yet the beautiful hair lighting and the spotlight on the face that really made the person stand out from the shadows. I'm gonna show you how to do that really quick and easily in any room with just two lights and a couple modifiers. So for our key light, I want a very focused beam of light, and I want it to still have a very even, round, predictable shape and nice fall off. So I chose to do the grid for this. And with the grid, I have a 45 degree spot. It's gonna give me plenty of coverage on her face, but it's not gonna fall off onto her arms too far down or be too bright so that it's distracting here when we wanna be focusing on her eyes. There's no modeling lights on your speed lights, so you wanna make sure that you get it dialed in perfectly, and the easiest way to do that is to bring it in and just ask your model to close your eyes. You can close your eyes for me. And you just hit the test button a couple times. And I make minute adjustments until I see that it's right into place and then I know that I'm gonna get the shot. So keeping with the theme of a tight focused light, I have a strip bank over here on the back. Now the strip is like a soft box but more narrow, which means it's gonna give us a narrow strip of soft light. On top of that, the new Flashbender 2 XL Pros have the kit where the grid is actually built in. So not only is it a narrow soft box and very directional, the grid is gonna make sure that light doesn't spill on the background or spill on the camera. It only goes where you want it to. A combination like this is gonna give us surgical precision. With the grid up top, we've got a perfect circle. We can place it right on our face, highlighting where we want, hiding what we don't. On the back, we have this strip, which is longer so that it's gonna encompass all of the hair that she's got going on. And with the grid attached to it, we don't have to worry about it spilling anywhere else. So really quickly and easily, we can highlight the face, let her come out of the shadows, and then define the rest of her with a beautiful strip bank from behind. 